He's difficult and I've heard in another interview that you gave that he wasn't always up for working or co cooperating. Well, it was a bit like, um, do you know David Attenborough films about animal, natural world? Um, it's about, a bit like trying to film the snow leopard. You know, you, you set up these cameras and you just wait and see if the snow leopard will one night will run through and you get a moment on film. It's a bit like that with Shane, you know. It's, he, he's not really, having asked me to do the film, he did say, I'm not doing any fucking interviews, you know. Go away and make the film. You know, so can't we do it together? No, I mean, go, it's your film, not me. And then I thought, how else can we get him to speak? And what about talking to Johnny Shane, you know? And so I give jo Johnny a load of, like, get the, ask him about this, ask him about that, smuggle it in, because it's not an interview, Shane, it's just a conversation. <laughs> I'm trying to tell Johnny to. And um, first night, Shane didn't turn up. Second night, Johnny didn't turn up. Third night, they turn up and start drinking, start talking. And I'm like, when Johnny going to ask him something useful about Shane, you know, because they're just talking and about anything, drunk. nothing about, yeah, yeah, nothing about what I can use, you know. So um, I got about, they were talking for eight hours. I got about five minutes of stuff possibly. But one day I, in 75, I heard this song on, on the wind, you know, I followed the song. It's a bit like Alice in Wonderland and um, there's a, a warehouse and the doors open and the sound is coming so I go up the stairs and it's getting louder and louder and I realize they're just destroying this song. It's like, what's going on here? They're saying, I want you to know that I hate you, baby, run, love you. And they're playing really raw rock and roll. And I come in the stairwell and it you know, opens straight into the floor. So you're looking like a, a worm's eye view um, of them silhouetted against these big windows, but they look like nothing you'd seen before, um, they looked like insect men from outer space or something. Because everyone then had long hair and flared trousers. These guys had really spindly legs and spiky hair. And they had these big jumpers, pullovers, stripy red and black or yellow and black. They looked like ins bees or wasps and they were poof, destroying this. Um, and they hadn't played a gig, I just stumbled across them. I was at film school, so I asked them if they'd do some music for a student film I'm making. And, and I, I shouldn't swear, but they said, fuck off, you know. Um, and I was like, wow, you know. Um, and they said they wouldn't do that, but they were, they were going to play a concert, their first gig in a month. And so they told me that. And I was, was so excited. I thought I'd seen the future. And um, I went back to all the people where I lived, all my friends saying, um, I've seen the future, I've seen the future. This band are amazing. Um, and they said, what are they called? I, I, oh shit, I didn't ask their name. So I didn't see the gig. I spent a long time looking in the music, music papers. Some band, must be a band with a weird name. That, And finally I saw this Sex Pistol. It must be them, you know. <laughs> so, so I went to the second gig. So I was really lucky to get in there early. That sounds like a, like a movie itself. Yeah, maybe I'm making it up, but no, I, it's the way I remember it. No, it, it happened like that. <clears throat> when you started explain, like <laughs> describing, I was like, wait a second, is he making fun of me? Well, is I'm trying to tell it in a way that it's unbelievable, but it was true. That's crazy. Actually, we're better when we're sober, but it's not as much fun, so we get drunk. <laughs> 